You've already experienced your worst days. You've already experienced loss. You already know what rejection feels like. He said, but this is the year where God's going to get the glory out of you. Come on, somebody. You already anointed. You already been purified. This is the year where you will lift your voice. I say, be it unto me. In Galatians chapter 2 and verse 11, when the apostle Paul is having to rebuke Peter, because, because when he's in Galatia, he's fellowshipping with all the Gentile believers until the Judaizers from the Jerusalem church show up. And now he withdraws himself from them, and he won't fellowship, and he won't eat from them. And Paul says, what's wrong with you? You ain't right. That's what he said. It's a Sipak paraphrase, but that's what he said. And so the religious spirit, here, here, here is the same Peter who had the revelation in Acts chapter 10, kill and eat the vision that opened the door for him to go to Cornelius' house, the house of a Gentile, and see the outpouring of the Spirit of God and revival hit the Gentile's house, Cornelius. And now Peter is compromising his revelation out of fear and intimidation of the religious spirit. The religious spirit operates by fear and intimidation to get you to back up off of the revelation that you know to be truth.